Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax Era basketball cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the last week. You got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you, plus a nice set of bonus listings at the end. You definitely don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. We won't waste any more time and get right into the good stuff. All right, let's get us started in the 10th spot. From 1995 Upper Deck SP, we have the Michael Jordan Hall of Views die cut, graded a mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $585.23. Pop of this card in the mint slab is 84, and there are 23 higher graded gem mint 10s. One of these sold for $930 in October of 2021, so that's a mint 9 in October, so down a bit since then. The hollow view die cuts were inserted one in 76 packs. The non die cut version of this card is inserted one in seven packs, so a lot more common than the die cut version. And boxes of 1995 Upper Deck SP sell for around 350 to 450 dollars. In the number nine spot from 1995 Skybox Premium. We have the Michael Jordan Electrified card. This isn't an insert, this is a subset in Series 2. Graded a gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $740. Pop of this card in the gem mint slab is only 89, which seems quite low for a base subset card, but there it is, 89. It's a pretty awesome looking card. One sold for $630 in May of 2022, so a couple months ago. And Series 2 boxes of 95 Skybox Premium sell for around $190 to $250. In the number 8 spot from 1994 Upper Deck SP Championship, we have the Michael Jordan Playoff Heroes die cut. Graded a gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,000. That's the highest sale for this card in a while. It's a pop of $126 in the gem mint slab. Another one sold in July for $600, so that's uh, quite the difference in a span of a month. Playoff Heroes die cut inserts were inserted one in 225 packs. And boxes of 1994 SP Championship have sold for around $300 to $500. In the number 7 spot from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's base card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,025. This exact card actually sold in January of 2020 for $154. So that's gone up quite a bit in the last two years. Pop of this card is $1,079 in boxes of 1989 Fleer. So for around $525 to $600. In the number six spot from 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, we have Michael Jordan card number 240, gold signature parallel, graded mint SGC 9. This was a fixed price sale for $1,150. It's a pop of only one in a mint SGC slab, and there's one higher graded mint plus SGC 9.5. For comparisons, mint PSA 9's pop of 39, one sold for $960 in May, so a couple months ago. And last June, $1,575. So this SGC is kind of right in the middle of those two sales. The gold signature parallels were inserted one in 36 packs. This card here is in Series 2 and boxes of 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice Series 2. Recently sold for around $100 to $130. In the number 5 spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have a Michael Jordan refractor with coating graded a mint PSA 9 and this is a fixed price sale for $1199.99. It's a pop of 610 in the mint slab and there are 147 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. One of these in the mint slab sold at Heritage Auctions in May for $1170 so that's pretty much right around here. Refractors were inserted 1 in 12 packs in boxes of 94 finest. Jordan is in Series 2, sell for around $550 to $650. In the number 4 spot from 1995 Tops, we have the Michael Jordan card number 277 Power Boosters Parallel, graded a gem in PSA 10. 
This car sold at auction for $1,716. One of these sold for $1,925 in March 2022. So a couple months ago. So we're down a little bit from that sale. That's a pop of only 43 in a gem mint slab. Uh, these cards, so only 15 cards in Series 2 were Power Booster Parallels. Cards 276 to 290. And they were inserted one in 36 packs. So boxes of 1995 top series two sell for around 220 to 400 dollars. If you're interested into taking a look at those further, there's a link in the description below, and those are eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes mentioned in the top 10, plus ones from our previous videos as well. All right, let's see what we have in the top three. First up, from 1992 Topps Archives, we have Michael Jordan Gold Parallel, graded a gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $1,814.67. It's a pop of only 89 in a gem in slab. One sold for $1,825 in February 2022. And there were only 10,000 of these Gold Parallel sets produced. So these were in factory set only. They didn't have gold parallels inserted into packs but only 10,000 of the sets produced you have recently sold for around 200 to 350 dollars in the number two spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra we have Michael Jordan scoring Kings insert graded a gem in BGS 9.5 this was a fixed price sale for $3,400 Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and edges and a 9 for surface. It's a pop of 105 in a gem in BGS slab. One sold for $3,450 earlier in July, so pricing is pretty consistent. These Scoring Kings inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And boxes of 93 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $350 to $450. And top of the list this week in the number one spot, also from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Power in the Key insert, graded a gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $6,050. This has actually been coming down a little bit. One sold for $7,600 in February of 2022. The Power in the Key inserts were inserted into Series 2 boxes of 93 Ultra at a rate of 1 in 37 packs. And those boxes sell for $200 to $325, and it's a pop of only $45 in a gem mint slab, so pretty low pop. All right, that's it for the top 10. Jordan took the list again. Some of you have mentioned to not include Jordan in the bonus listings if he sweeps the top 10. I don't think I'll commit to that fully. I'll say I'll try to make sure the mix is a lot better in the bonus listings. However, I do like to share listings and cards I think are good deals or good buys that I see and sometimes those include Jordan and I might still want to share those with you so that's why I make the bi-weekly video that doesn't have Jordan or Shaq in it and then we get some pretty good variety with that one all right time to take a look at our junk wax investor basketball index so for the week we're down a little bit 74.4 down to 74.2 but more or less flat I would say the S&P 500, NASDAQ, Alt, and Bitcoin all were up this week. So we'll see if we're kind of putting in a bottom here for the basketball cards. See if we see this index start going up over the next uh, couple weeks. That'd be nice. It's 50 cards that make up the basketball index. Here's a list of those cards spanning 1989 to 1996. Got a pretty awesome selection of cards in there. A lot of great Hall of Famers, some rookie cards as well. See how those cards performed in the last week. We had 17 that increased in their sales prices, 17 with no change, and 16 of the cards had a decrease. Let's look at basketball from the beginning of the year compared to the other three major sports. So the indexes for football is up again. It's pretty strong. Baseball is in second spot. It was down a little bit this week. Hockey in third spot, it was up. And as you see there, basketball is kind of flat for the last few weeks. I put these indexes together and I track all their values using the features in the Market Movers app. I find it a pretty awesome tool that helps me track my collections. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI and the first month of your subscription is only $1. They're doing a lot of changes in the apps and adding new features. It's pretty awesome, so I recommend checking it out. They've also added a new starter tier at $9.99 a month. 
All right, time for some bonus cards. First up, we have a user submitted listing here. This was sent to me on Instagram by Wheels Up in Thirty. This is a card he purchased at the PWCC weekly auction. It was a 1994 Upper Deck SP Jason Kidd die cut rookie card, graded mint CSG nine, and yeah, he bought it at auction for 20 bucks. I think that was an amazing buy. For a CSG pop, it's a pop four. There's one higher graded CSG mint plus 9.5. Uh, however, over at PSA, the mint is a pop of only 52 in a mint slab. And they sell for around 40 to 50 bucks, which even at that, I still think those are undervalued. So I think that was an awesome pickup. 20 bucks for this card. You can't go wrong with that. So thanks for sharing. And I do have to say, the CSG slabs, the new CSG slabs, are really growing on me. They look pretty sharp. From 1994, Tops Embossed, we have the Michael Jordan, graded a mint PSA 9, and sold at auction for $405. It's a pop of 33, and there's only four higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. That's a pretty low mint pop, especially considering this is just the base version of the card. There's also the Golden Idol Parallel, which sells for quite a bit more. So one of these in a mint slab sold for $202 in December, and only $128 there was a sale in May, so a few months ago. So 405 bucks at auction was a pretty strong price. From 1991 Skybox, we have the Team USA 3-card lot, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $430. So I think this is the way to buy these ones. There's always uh, listings of these up with all three of them in gem and slabs. I think so. The pops of all three cards are 399, 747, and 556 for the three different ones. I think one of these grading companies needs to come up with a slab where you can have more than one card in it, kind of in a horizontal arrangement like these, where you could have three cards, have them separated, and obviously even have three different grades for the cards, but at least be displayed in one slab. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. From 1990 Fleer, we have a David Robinson Rookie Sensations insert, graded a Gem Mint SGC 10, and sold at auction for a steal at $76.10. As a Gem Mint SGC copy, it's a pop of only seven. There's no higher grade of pristines. And for comparisons, PSA 10 is a pop of 232, and they sell for like 300 to 350 bucks. So this one here for $76 was a steal, I think. These were inserted into cello packs at a rate of 1 in 5 packs. I've added a link in the description below to those eBay search results for those 1990 Fleer cello boxes. Uh, the ones that are listed on eBay have pretty high asking prices right now, but the last sale in June was for $175 at auction. So that gives you an idea of kind of where the market is. From 1996 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan and Jerry Stackhouse Class Axe. This is a members only grade in mint PSA 9 and sold at auction for $775. That's a pop one in a mint slab and there are none graded higher. That's a pretty uh, low pop card there. This card last sold for $157 in September of 2020. From 1995 Flair, we have a two card lot of Michael Jordan here, the hardwood, hardwood leader and hot numbers inserts. They were both graded mint HGA 9s and sold at auction for $582.66. So the hot number subgrades were 9.5 for edges, 9 for corners and centering, and an 8 for surface. And the hardwood leader was 9.5 for surface centering, 9 for corners and edges. So mint PSA 9s sell for around $900 for the hot numbers. And mint uh, PSA 9s for the hardwood leaders are around $50. Bucks. It's a lot more common of an insert. The hot numbers were inserted into Series 1 packs at 1 in 36, and the hardwood leaders was a 27 card insert set, and it was actually inserted one per pack of Series 1 packs of 95 Flare. So the hot numbers is definitely the one that uh, has the value here, probably 50 bucks or so for the hardwood leaders, but $580 versus mint PSA 9 sell for around $900. From 1995 Flare Metal. We have David Robinson graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $60. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 38. One of these sold for $26 back in January of 2022. 
and May of last year $132 so kind of dipped down quite a bit into the winter and it's up a little bit now but still 60 bucks pop of only 38 and I gotta say like for base cards you can't beat the metal cards I love this set these are awesome looking base cards from 1995, Upper Deck Collector's Choice, we have the Michael Jordan Players Club Platinum Grade in Near Mint Mint PSA 8. This car sold at auction for $147.50. It's a pop of only 29 in a PSA 8 slab, and there's 57 graded higher, with the highs being only 8 gem mint PSA 10s. So a PSA 8 sold for $330 back in February, just in the winter here. So $150 or $147.50, I think that was a pretty good buy. Especially considering it's low pops, even down into the PSA 8s. Mint PSA 9 sell for around 350 to 400 bucks. The Players Club Platinum Parallels were inserted in both series at a rate of 1 in 35 packs, so they were pretty tough parallels. From 1988 Panini, we have a Dennis Rodman Spanish Rookie Year sticker, graded in Mint BGS 9. It's, it was a fixed price sale for $600. It's a pop of five in the mint BGS slab, and there's only three higher graded gem mint BGS 9.5s. So mint PSA 9s is a pop of only six with six higher gem mint ten. So super low pop for these uh, Dennis Rodman rookie year stickers. From 1995 Upper Deck SP, we have the David Robinson All Stars Gold, graded a gem mint PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $86. What a good deal! This card is a pop one in a gem mint slab, 86 bucks. The last sale of this card was $70 from October of 2020. I can't believe that this should, this should be worth more. These uh, All Stars Gold inserts were inserted one in 61 packs. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay Partner Network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.